Multi-award-winning American actor Sarah Paulson is one of the entertainment industry's brightest stars, whose versatility and talent can be seen in the iconic characters she portrays on stage and screen. Who the hell are you? A friend of the house and its residents. They don't take kindly to strangers. Paulson aspired to greatness right from the start, modeling herself and her idol, Julia Roberts. There's no question about it. I was a fan before I was an actress. Landing her first TV role in the short-lived horror series American Gothic in 1995. Just five years later, she took on her first lesbian role when she was cast opposite Diane Keaton in The Other Sister. A brave move at a time when playing gay could sound the death knell on a burgeoning acting career. I don't want to be confined to only playing someone that, that uh, is palatable to an audience. For a while, mainstream success eluded her, with a number of big-hitting shows falling flat, such as the 2005 Broadway production of The Glass Menagerie. Determined to succeed, Paulson paid her dues and worked hard, earning recognition for her roles in Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip and Game Change. The interview sucked because you didn't try. You just gave up. Her breakthrough came in 2011 when she was cast in the first season of Ryan Murphy's anthology series, American Horror Story. And since then, she hasn't looked back, delivering a host of critically acclaimed performances, earning her a string of primetime Emmy nominations. No! Let me out of here! I am tough, but I'm no cookie. In 2013, she was cast in the Oscar-winning 12 Years a Slave. Don't trouble yourself with it. Anymore, I'll earn you a hundred lashes. And in 2015, the subtlety of her acting made the scintillating lesbian drama Carol a global sensation. She's young. Tell me you know what you're doing. Her portrayal of Marcia Clark in The People vs. O.J. Simpson revealed even more depth to her talent. Mr. Darden is simply responding to the unfair events that have occurred in this courtroom today and other days. The court has been exploited by counsel for cross purposes. Leading to a string of awards. And Holland Taylor, I love you. Thank you. In 2017, Time magazine named her one of the 100 most influential people. A run of box office hits followed, including the heist series, all-female spin-off, Ocean's 8. Hey, hey, what the hell are you guys doing? You're not getting paid to talk and M. Night Shyamalan's Glass. 2019 was a busy year, with Paulson working on several new productions, including the streaming series Mrs. America and Suspense Thriller Run. <laughs> with a slew of characters offered in upcoming Brian Murphy productions and theatre and movie roles, and being in demand by fashion houses for her classic Hollywood look, Sarah Paulson represents a new wave of proud, glamorous and supremely talented queer actors. I've been 